The whole idea is is to find somebody whose uh, communication style, their speaking style, it, it's 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 a it's a style that resonates with you. It's a, somebody who you could put yourself in their shoes and uh, communicate in basically the exact the exact uh, the same way as that person does. Welcome to Some Stutter Law, Newfoundland and Labrador's first podcast about living with communication disorders. It is a production of the Communication Collaborative. My name is Greg O'Grady. I am a person who stutters and your host. Some Stutter Law aims to rebuild confidence and hope for people who live with communication differences by dismantling myths, stigma, stereotypes, and barriers. For more information about the Communication Collaborative or this podcast, you can find us at somestutterlaw.ca. If you only get one thing from this podcast, we hope it's this. It's okay to stutter and it's okay to communicate differently. It's, it's not how we communicate that's important. It's the message that's important. Today, Some Stutter Law welcomes Jeff Jabalina. Jeff is an attorney and a happily married to his wife, Emily, of 11 plus years with three kids. Charlie, age 9, Peter, age 4, and Kate, age 3. He wholeheartedly identified as a lifelong stutterer until about a year ago. Jeff is neither an SLP nor does he hold any degree certificates in communication disorders, mainly stuttering but he can help create a new way of speaking through habit and behavior, formation and modification using the Pro 90 Day system. Jeff is also a Pro 90 Day speech coach. Jeff, before we start to get to talk about the Pro 90 Day, could you share with our listeners a little history about your lived experience as a person who stutters? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, first off, uh, thank you for having me on the podcast. I appreciate it. Uh, so I stuttered for as long as as I can remember. Uh, I, I would say it went back to five years old, perhaps. And it's always been a constant in my life. Um, it's something that I've um, that I've struggled with uh, pretty much every day, you know, for, for, uh, for the last 30 plus years. Um, I, like everyone else who stutters, uh, had, you know, I, it, it was the ebb and a flow of it. Uh, some days were better than others. But uh, it was always in the background and, uh, you know, more pronounced at times and during phases of my life than others. Um, so I've always had a desire uh, to, to conquer it, I suppose, for a lack of a, a better word. Uh, and I've gone through uh, several programs uh, through speech therapy in school and nothing really seemed to have a uh, impact on my speech at least on a long-term basis so something that I could transfer out of uh, a therapy sessions into uh, the real world on a consistent basis uh, so uh, that was my story up until um, I discovered this uh, Pro 90D uh, program by Michael Williams. Mm -hmm. Jeff, okay. Uh, do, would would you consider the Pro 90D system 
a lifeline. Would you consider it as a salvation for you to help you with your stutter? Yeah, yeah, I would. Um, so the way that, and you know, what drew me to this Pro 90D program initially um, was the approach that uh, Mr. Williams took. And it's a, it's a approach grounded in science and uh, neuroplasticity, habit formation, uh, learning, a theory. Uh, so uh, it was those concepts that e even before I discovered him um, that resonated with me in other facets of my life. Uh, so if I were uh, looking to improve um, as an athlete or with uh, a career ambitions or whatever it may be, um, I've always been interested in uh, this idea of neuroplasticity and being able to change yourself and the steps that you can take to effectuate that change more quickly. And so in the arena of communication and speech, uh, this approach was right up my alley. We know, Jeff, that uh, stuttering affects uh, our health, affects our relationships, and the kind of people we're in relationship with, partners, mm -hmm. interpersonal, and intra relationships, careers, finances, income. And you also sort of avoid jobs and careers. So how has Pro 90D affected you in these areas? Sure. So, you know, I'd say the biggest impact it's had is this uh, a feeling, I suppose, of a freedom or a liberation to express myself more clearly and more thoroughly in uh, the different areas of my life. So if that's uh, communicating with my children or my wife or uh, with a partner at the law firm or wherever it may be. So although, you know, I was able to um, able to, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, to create these opportunities uh, as far as uh, my career and my family. You know, I've always had the stutter in the background and I don't think I was able to um, in, in enjoy the fruit of my labor um, as, as much as I have been over the last couple of years. Uh, so I think that's that's the big thing for me. And, it, you know, it, it also allows me to, um, I guess it would be to increase the, the satisfaction uh, with these areas of my life, right? Uh, so just being able to communicate more um, and to express myself more uh, clearly with uh, stakeholders in my life, um, it's been it's been a life altering, and uh, it's allowed me to uh, pursue things more extensively and more deeply. I think. Mm. So it has it has had a significant impact on the quality of your life, definitely. Yes. Oh. Jeff, uh, I've been looking at your uh, no thanks stuttering uh, uh, um, uh, account on in Instagram, and a big part of this, the Pro 90D, is becoming your model, but first of all, finding your model. Do mm. you want to share a little bit about what that means? Yeah, absolutely. And I have to be careful that I don't uh, speak too long on this uh, 
a subject. It is, uh, it's uh, quickly becoming a, a passion of mine, this idea of a modeling. And uh, so basically it's, you know, uh, it's the foundation of this uh, Pro 90D program uh, created uh, by Michael Williams. And the whole idea is, is to find somebody whose uh, communication style, their speaking style, it, it's, 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 a, it's a style that resonates with you. It's a, somebody who you could put yourself in their shoes and uh, communicate in basically the exact, the exact uh, the same way as that person does. Um, and much like the program, it's, it's, it's based in uh, the science. It's grounded in these principles of uh, mere neurons, uh, neuroplasticity, uh, um, creating a new identity or new way of communicating. And the whole modeling idea is, is a way to increase the the speed or the the um the rapidity of which you create this new speaking style uh now uh michael williams will tell you that there's all kinds of tools and techniques that you can use and at the beginning of these coaching sessions especially for somebody that's just getting started those are great, and they're great to use as a bridge uh, to get you through uh, certain speaking situations. But ultimately, uh, what you want to do is step into the shoes of your model, right? And and be as detail oriented as possible. The way they move, the way they extend their words. Uh, the way they inflect on some words, you know, if they move their arms or their hands or the head in a certain way. And so basically you just practice that over and over and watch the videos of this model. Now everybody that goes through the Pro 90D uh, program, at least most, will uh, use Michael as a model. Um, he, he puts all of these um, these traits of effective communication in practice every time he speaks. And he has loads and loads of the content out there. So you can just pick a video and watch it uh, for a few minutes. And then, uh, and then, you know, after a certain amount of time, you want to start transferring that into real life speaking situations so it's uh, essentially stepping out of, yeah it's essentially stepping out of your old speaking way and stepping into this new way of communicating in every situation um, so you know the whole idea is we're not treating stuttering you know and and, and, and as Michael and I and the other coaches are always careful to say, you know, we're not, you know, claiming to hold any sort of degrees or certificates in uh, language or communication disorders. But what we do know how to do is create a new way of speaking. And it's just a habit. So basically, we're masters at creating um, this new way of communicating through just establishing this new uh, habit. And that's basically it. And it takes, you know, it takes some work. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, it's called the Pro 90 uh, D system because it takes about 90 days uh, to effectuate the change and to sustain it. Yeah. Jeff, I'm wondering now, so you work closely with uh, Michael Williams, the founder of the Pro 90D system. Mm -hmm. In terms of when you started to model Michael, 
what what was the comfort level like like you know uh, uh, what was your disposition beforehand and trying to model Michael because I've watched a few of his videos and uh, I'm very impressed with him he's very demonstrative he's also very articulate as well but like uh, what was your uh, personality or disposition like before compared to Michael yeah so and you know I think this is a great uh, multi-prong uh, the question here and the first the part of it was you know is it comfortable and the short answer to that is it's not no because you're because you've had this way of communicating for so long for most of us the decades right and whether we like to stutter um, or not, it's a it's the the brain. Um, it's it's you know if it comes to communicating, this is what the brain's been doing, or the language, the centers of our brains. People who stutter, they've been speaking uh, this way for a long time, and you know it's like anything else, if you're trying to replace a, a certain way of doing things or if it's a habit or whatever you want to call it, it's, you know, there's a period where you have to stretch and there is a discomfort. Uh, the brain, as we know, likes to always choose the path of least resistance. And so there is a period of weeks, months perhaps, where you're grinding essentially a little bit, right? You're, you're, you're in the trenches modeling and reminding yourself over the course of a day that it's something you have to continue to do. And you will waver back and forth between the old style of speaking and the new style. And it's basically over the course of, you know, it can be a few months, six months, you know, the, the tide starts to turn, right? You start to model more than you engage this old style of speaking. So yeah, it's not easy. It's, you know, it's mentally exhausting, but it's, it's, it's a, uh, necessary evil, I suppose. Uh, I hate to use the word evil, but, to uh, to get you over that uh, the, the resistance, essentially. So uh, when, when you're, let's say, model, uh, modeling, uh, Michael, what in a, uh, how, how do you measure success, mm. Jeff, in terms mm. of? Yeah. Or do, do you know what, or like, do, do you know what your pattern is, your comfort level with not all what Michael, what Michael is. So, so just a measure of success. What's your thoughts? Yeah. So the measure of success is being able to, to identify certain traits that you're um, trying to model. So, you know, for instance, when I was in the uh, Pro 90D coaching session for three months, you know, oftentimes I would uh, record the phone calls I had, or if I had a, a Zoom call for work, you know, a call where there's not privileged information or anything like that, and it was a call or Zoom uh, call that I felt comfortable recording. I would go ahead and record that and send it over to Michael. And then, um, you know, during our weekly session, we would open it up and watch the video and just basically talk about, you know, at this time, am I modeling, right? Am I using my body? Am I extending my words often enough? So there's certain, um, and Michael would refer to this as the 80, the 20 rule, right? Where, you know, 
most people in the program are, are going to get 80% of their results based on 20% of the input. So for a lot of us, it's a slowing down. And I know the, the stuttering the community as a whole, you know, when they hear slowing down, it makes them a cringe almost, right? But this is slowing down with a purpose, right? So we're slowing down to implement this new style of speaking. Oftentimes when, and you know, that th th this applies to me, I speed up all the time. And uh, that's been my biggest obstacle to implementing this new style of speaking. So I'll still talk to Michael from time to time. In fact, I talked to him uh, two hours ago and he's like, slow down, slow down. So, you know, he still tells me to slow down. So I'd say, you know, to answer your question, to come back on it a little bit, um, it's, it's, being able to speak in a way where you feel in control of your speech and through this process of modeling and frankly it's it's not a stuttering right so it's even if you feel like you're about to get stuck stopping taking a breath and focusing on your model and what he might do in this situation. Um, and, and as I said, you know, it, it, it's a grind, right? From time to time, especially in the first few months. But um, as you do it uh, and you put yourself in more speaking situations, uh, more higher pressure speaking situations uh, while being mindful of your model and implementing everything that they do. Um, it just gets easier and easier. And then at some point the brain says, all right, you know what? You've done this for long enough. Let's normalize it and create a habit of it. Jeff, when you know when you're in a uh, like a, a meeting with your your colleagues or your, your clients, you know there's a lot of anticipation there. There's a lot of uh, uh, communication. There are some of your colleagues or clients who are very articulate. They're they're they're, they're fast speakers. How you know how do you control your and your anxiety and sort of get into the conversation or control the the, uh, the techniques you've learned because i know with me in the past when i've gone to meetings and uh, some of my managers or some of the managers i work with they you know they all have a lot to say and with me sometimes i allow that to overwhelm me plus impact my stuttering make my stuttering more evidence how, how do you handle that with this the pro d system yeah, and I am glad that you asked that a question as well. Um, you know, a big part of this pro, uh, this program is creating this a new identity that that goes well beyond just speaking out loud. Uh, I think everybody would agree uh, with the stuttering that there's a huge uh, mental component. And, you know, part of this, a big part of this uh, Pro 90D program is having or uh, establishing uh, or creating an awareness of self-talk uh, throughout the day. So what kind of things do we focus on, you know, in anticipation of these calls, right? If I do have a call with the clients, multiple clients, and you know, I expect them to be asking a lot of questions and I'm supposed to be the expert on it. Um, so it, you know, it comes down to focus. So am I focused on stuttering? Am I focused on what my audience will say or do after I get stuck? Or am I focused on this new 
this new ID as a speaker, right? Am I focused on being as an uh, effective communicator as I can be? Am I focused on implementing certain traits that my model uh, uh, likes to implement uh, in order uh, to trigger? So um, it's just, it comes down to the shift, right? So at some point you have to be aware of these thoughts and then you have to pivot from those. And it's, you know, it's the same as speaking out loud. You know, it takes time to change it and it's no different with the mental component of it. It's a grind, right? You know, in the first, you know, if in the first two weeks of this Pro 90 ID program, you might be on a call and you're still having those same thought patterns before, right? But the difference is you're starting to stop yourself and you're starting to pivot to more productive thoughts about modeling and being uh, the, uh, the best possible a communicator in that situation. And the thing is, and this is something that I think a lot of people get stuck on, is that you might go back to that old thought pattern 10 times, 15 times, 20 times, right? In fact, the more, the more emotional uh, situation is or the more, the more emotional that speaking situation has been the last few years, 10 years, 15 years, you know, the, the, those thought patterns that you're having are well grooved, right? So the brain says, oh, I see this and that. So let's cue these thought patterns and let's go. And so you keep having those. So, you know, you have to stop them and then it'll happen again, stop them again, stop them again and again and again. And over the course of a call uh, for two minutes, five minutes, you might have to pivot 15 times, right? Because you, because you, the, the, those old thought patterns are still there and it takes time. Uh, so, you know, I think that's a big part of the program is to be patient with the process and to realize that you're retooling um, the neurons essentially in your brain that have been firing in such a way for so long and to create these new neural pathways it just takes time so if you trust the process and if you're doing the work you will see results it's scientific and you just have to stick with it mm. you know i uh, i agree with what you're saying uh jeff because as a person who stutters uh, I, I struggle with a lot of self negative thinking a mm. lot of negative thoughts and uh, well, what I call triggers. I'm mm. able to identify my triggers that mm. tend to throw me off uh, my fluency, let's say, my management mm. of my stuttering. What would be some of your triggers that would throw you off during a day? Yeah, so, you know, I have, I've had the same the triggers that a lot of people uh, who uh, stutter, right? So if it's a phone call even, so, you know, uh, even as recently as about a year ago, you know, if the phone were to ring or I'd feel the vibration in my pocket, you know, my uh, physiological um, workings would start up, right? The, the increased, uh, heart rate, um, the breathing gets a little shorter, um, and uh, uh, there's would be presenting. So if I have to present uh, in front of a, a, a group of clients or prospective clients, uh, that's something where I would experience the same thing. Um, or it could be something as simple as, you know, at times, you know, uh, speaking to my wife, you know, like sometimes 
it's you know depending on the topic right uh it might be to trigger and i might uh start to speed up. <laughs> and uh so yeah you know it, it would just depend but i had i had lots and lots of them and it's just a matter of uh, being able to identify those and those thought patterns that are associated with those uh, the triggers and uh, the changing them. And for me, you know, the big the changes would be to breathe deeply, you know, uh, fix my posture. So if I'm kind of slumped over in a certain situation, but to, to put my shoulders back, uh, the self-talk to model slow down, extend my words, move my hands a little bit more. Uh, so those were the big ones for me. And uh, I think over time, you'll start to see that it actually works. And but you might to fail, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 times. And I think that's where that's where a large segment of the population, it gets discouraged. And it's understandable. You know, this is something they've been doing for so long or stuttering. And, you know, if it's so easy, especially um, when you've been struggling with it for so long, that if you don't have that initial sustained success, you know, you just want to throw up your hands and say, I tried and uh, it just didn't, you know, it's not for me or it just didn't work. But uh, it's, you know, the key here is persistence and understanding that uh, you'll still have the triggers and uh, it's just about to being aware of them and uh, recentering your focus or shifting your focus. Jeff, what, you know, what, what role does acceptance play in the pro 90 D do you use the word acceptance or, you know, what, what, what role does acceptance play? Yeah, I think they're um, mutually exclusive here. Um, I think that this, um, I suppose you would refer to it as a movement and, uh, it's picked up, uh, picked up a lot of steam the last few years. And I think it's fantastic. I think it's great. I think there's people who stutter, who have derived a tremendous amount from accepting their speech. I think there's a, I think there's a component of, uh, there's empowerment, a freedom that you feel with acceptance. Um, and then there's pro 90 D, you know, so it, it, it's for, it's for somebody that just has, that's just kind of a sick of their stutter. And, you know, they, they certainly, um, you know, they certainly respect the, um, the movement of acceptance and it's important and it has a role that's for sure. But uh, I think the program is just for somebody that wants to take a swing and uh, to see if um, it's a good fit for them. And uh, if it's not, then that's okay. It's not. And if they, if they feel like they're um, better suited towards acceptance and they think that they would get more from that, then by all means. Um, so, you know, it's not something that the pro 90 D program disparages at all. Um, I think there's, I think, you know, as I said, I think it's, I think it's important. And I think there's a lot of people out there that, uh, that the idea of acceptance, um, serves as a bridge for them and it gets them through some tough times. Uh, you see, uh, well, uh, uh, well, personally, uh, Jeff, as a person who stutters, I find this uh, this system is so unique in many ways because you know, based on my experience from the traditional speech therapy, we work on targets, techniques, breathing, um, and uh, uh, the full breath target. The uh, it's just the tongue and the lips and the mm. uh, the. Uh, in a consonants and vowel, vowel, open track, things like that. So 
we have these targets to fall back on. Mm -hmm. Whereas the uh, Pro 90D doesn't seem to have the specific clinical targets, and that's why it's so different from mm -hmm. the the traditional therapy. Yeah. And uh, as as you were saying, I'm assuming that one has to really sort of uh, understand the program and sort of there's a commitment basis to it. And uh, for somebody who is new, how how do they maintain momentum with this program, knowing mm -hmm. that there's no traditional techniques from speech therapy? Yeah, so the program offers um, the pro yeah, the program offers a uh, self a study, and basically that's a series of modules that you have access to and it takes you through step by step and if I recall I think the last time I looked there were maybe around 110 uh, separate videos created uh, by Michael Williams so you base and that's something I did uh, for two years because <laughs> I thought you know what like this uh, the science behind it's great I understand this I don't think I need the coaching so I did that, uh, the self study, and I experienced uh, success out of the gate, right? Um, but over the time, my practice habits uh, fell by the wayside. Uh, family got in the way a little bit, or at least I uh, used the family as a crutch, perhaps. Um, yeah, but uh, so, you know, it, it, it was the same old, you know, is the ebb and flow, like, okay, like, this is great. And then I would go down, I would stop for a few weeks, start back up again. So there's a lot of fits and starts there. And then eventually, you know, for, for accountability, and for the expertise that the coach can provide, and in this case, Michael Williams, you know, I decided to do the coaching uh, for 12 weeks, or is this 12? sessions so i did that and you know what michael can do that i did not get from the self study is a you know he it keeps me accountable uh, uh basically on a weekly basis and then uh b i get i get instant feedback from him uh, so you know as you know, uh, everybody stutters differently, right? Everybody has different triggers, uh, different struggles with communicating. Uh, some are more physical, others more mental. Uh, and what the, what the program does, it will address all of them, right? But some people aren't going to derive as much from certain parts of the program. And then there's others who that's gonna be their, their 80%, right? It's gonna be that 20% input from these certain videos, modules, they're gonna get the most out of it. So what the coaching did was really say, hey, Jeff, this is what I see. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've coached thousands of clients. You know, I know exactly what kind of a stutter you, 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 you are and this is what you need to work on so for me it was a lot of slowing down my speech it, extending you know certain sounds and words and all that um, and so that's something that we just gradually built on and it improved and got to better and better and, you know the foundation is still the modeling but it's certain components of a modeling that I had to focus on more than others. Mm. Jeff, would, would you be able to share with our listeners the cost of this program? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So for the self study program, it's uh, uh, it looks like you can access it for 190 seven dollars so it's a great deal there's tons of content out there 
Um, and personally, I think even before you delve in to coaching, just spend time with that and have a, a strong idea of the program, the content in it. Uh, and based on that, I, I think you can get a lot more out of the coaching. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you can just bypass that and do the coaching and you might get to where you need to get to a lot faster. But, you know, I found just with the self-study, it was great just to go through the videos and e even if for two months or three months and then after that say okay you know I have it down or you know you could do it and say I feel great like I've done everything I have a pretty good understanding of the things I need to focus on and that's it and some people don't even have uh, to bother with the coaching but uh, if you opted for the coaching there's uh, two options. There's the, you, 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 you can do six sessions, uh, 30 minutes each, or you can do 12 sessions, 30 minutes each. Uh, typically it's once a week, but Michael and the coaches are flexible. Uh, so sometimes I w would do, you know, I would do sessions every two weeks. And then I could send him tons of videos over that time, right? And then after two weeks, we'd go through all the videos and talk about everything I needed to work on. So the timing of it, flexible. Uh, the pricing, uh, so for uh, the sixth session, you'd be looking at uh, $1,597. Um, and there's payment options, so you could pay in two installments. Uh, and then the uh, 12 the session program would be uh, $2,597. And uh, similarly to the sixth session, you have the option to pay in two installments. So, you know, for me, and I understand that there's, you know, that for some of us out there, especially with the economy and the way things have been going, that it can be, it, it can be uh, a sticker shock. But uh, I strongly maintain that it's worth every a penny on it. Um, I think the ROI, just strictly speaking, for salary, right? Uh, for being able to present, for being able uh, to socialize, uh, to market, converse with clients, prospective clients, um, I think, and, and I can tell you that Michael has case study after a case study on this from clients who specifically um, specifically address the impact that it's had on uh, their career and more specifically uh, their salary. So although it does seem like a bit much, um, we like to think of it as an investment, um, an investment in yourself, right? So uh, that's that's the way we look at it. So, mm -hmm. uh, listening to listening to your pricing, Jeff, I'm just thinking when I uh, uh, took the uh, the Fluency Plus program, we're going back a few years ago. It's the uh, the cost for the three week program is is I mean this this was a while ago, but you're mm -hmm. you're looking at a little over a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Back mm -hmm. then, so it's 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 it, it it is comparable, you know what I mean? Like yeah. any intensive program. Mm -hmm. Now with the Pro ninety, is this U.S. dollars? Yes, it is. It is. Okay. 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 Now Ooh. I would add that um, the coaches of clients from all over the world. So uh, I would say that at any a given time. Michael has, he always has uh, numerous clients from India, uh, from Pakistan. So I'm, you know, and, and I'd have to discuss that with him as far as how or the compensation. And, um, but I, yes, I, I can tell you that uh, it can be accommodated. The program's offered worldwide. Um, obviously, it's internet based. So, and uh, everything's uh, based on virtual conferences. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Mm. 
Well, a, 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 after what you know, or watching some of your your, your videos on uh, No Thanks Stutter, I'm oh, I'm very impressed with you know with your work you're doing, uh, Jeff. I really am. So I would also encourage listeners to go and check out No Thanks Stuttering as well. You know, yeah, because the videos that. are yeah yeah the the videos are great, and then you also offer some helpful hints like for example there's one the video on modeling mindset and the stuttering mindset is similar to to what we've been taught as well all these negative uh, self thoughts we 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 tend to focus on stuttering whereas the modeling mindset you it hits hits home i am relaxed i am calm i can always take my time versus Please do not single me out in class. I am excited for this speaking opportunity. I couldn't make that call, but it's it's an e but an email is easier. So there's a strong comparison to what many people who stutter should to be concentrating on daily. You know, so it, it is a, it's a mindset, but Pro Ninety calls it a modeling mindset. You know, yeah. I'm wondering now, Mike, when you talk about finding a model do you need to find a model within the pro 90 community or can you find a model outside and how, how, how would that work yes yeah, so you know for everybody that's in the coaching uh, we would always uh, strongly encourage them uh, to model Michael Williams only because he does do a great job of illustrating all of these um, these traits of effective speaking, right? And so that's something. And and on top of that, it's the content. There's so much content uh, out there um, that he's produced. So if you even do a search for Pro 90D or Michael Williams uh, for YouTube, you'll find tens and tens of videos uh, by Michael Williams completely free of charge just to take a look at those um, so just based on those the two criteria um, and and then afterwards you know if you find you know if you find somebody who you enjoy the way they speak and they're somewhat similar uh, to Michael um, I think that's great um, you know, I think the big caveat out there is finding somebody that speaks at a, a comfortable pace, right? I think that I'm, I'm not alone in that. Um, I think a lot of people in the program get tripped up by speeding up, right? It's so easy to fall back into your old style of speaking when things start speeding up. So I think that would be the caution that, you know, if you decide to venture out beyond modeling, Michael, just be aware of um, the rate of speed and uh, just some of the traits that they do and, mm. and uh, they're serving you. So. Mm. Jeff, would, would you consider yourself, as you mentioned in, in, in your no thanks that, um, trying to find they're not to identify as a stutterer. Do you want to explain mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I think that's that's everything, right? I think that's the I think that's also a foundational principle of Pro Ninety D. It's about transitioning from this mindset of somebody who stutters and all the trappings that come along with that, right? All the mental baggage, uh, the stuttering itself. Um, and that's mental baggage before, during, and after these uh, speaking situations or engagements. And so, you know, this whole idea of daring not to identify is, is, is you know, I think within that is a challenge to identify as something else. And I think that can be scary for some people, right? Um, even at a subconscious level, when they've been speaking a certain way, they've started for a certain amount of time, 
and they've come to identify as a stutterer. And so what you're asking people to do is to change their fabric, right? So although, yeah, stuttering is a pain, it's difficult, it's challenging, it's embarrassing at times, that's part of who that person is. That's, that's an identity that they've established and whether they like it or not, there is a comfort level there in establishing that and maintaining it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, you know, I like to think of it as a bit of a challenge to, to, yeah, mm. uh, to one thing to not as identify as a stutterer, but then if you're not, you know, you have to identify as something else. So, mm. Mm -hmm. you know, that, you know, that, you know, that's interesting, Jeff, because for years and years, uh, I, I was, I would have classified myself, well, I, I did classify myself as a co covert person who stutters. Mm -hmm. I did everything. I knew all the tricks in the tray to word substitutions, avoiding telephone calls, in, in, introduce, in introducing myself. But unfortunately, being a, a covert person who stutters causes, it causes additional stress and anxiety, mm -hmm. trying to mask and hide all the time. And uh, so, if you know, if if you notice in my some stutter law weekly introduction, I say, my name is Greg O'Grady. I am a person who stutters, and your host. So I do identify as a person who stutters. My main reason for that is that, given my history as a covert person who stutters, mm -hmm. at least I'm acknowledging my stuttering. You know. And yeah. uh, so if, if I, it's, it, it's, it's a transition for me. And there's this uh, part of the, I uh, guess, comfort level here that I'm trying to avoid my history of masking and hiding. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, and, and, you know, for me, it's, it's okay to stutter as well. And we, you know, we had a, a, the Newfoundland Labrador Stuttering Association here in uh, Mount Pearl had a, walk, run, and roll, mm -hmm. and uh, this is to sort of uh, help raise money for a bursary program this for subsidies, and our theme was it's okay to stutter. So what's what would be the pro-90 the thoughts on it's okay to stutter? Yeah, you know, um, I think it's around, you know, it's the, the same response to um, this this movement of of um, of the acceptance, right? So you know, it, it is absolutely okay to stutter. Uh, the pro ninety d coaches, the community around that, would be would support that. You know, at every a turn. Uh, as I said, you know, I think there's 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 a lot of benefit that people get from that. Um, that support or the support system that comes along with that, with the mantra that it's okay to stutter with the community uh, that rallies around that person and that group. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Um, it's great. Uh, and, you know, uh, I would just say that the pro 90 D system is just, it's, it's just a different approach. That's all. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, the pro 90 D is a fit for some, it's not a fit for all. And I think what our, you know, our concern is for everyone who stutters to be as comfortable as they can be with it. So if, if the path to comfort and mental well-being, a mental well-being is a full throttle acceptance of it, then all the more power. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting, Jeff. Listening to you, and to, you know, uh, list, 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 listening to you describe the pro ninety system. There, there's a, a comfort level with stuttering. Like we know that as people stutter, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of uh, physical, emotional, psychological energy, energy to stutter. And mm -hmm. if you find somebody who's who's a model. It helps to, in one sense, control your stuttering. 
Mm -hmm. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, so I wouldn't even say, you know, uh, so, it, you know, the phrase control your the stutter, um, I, I think it would be more, you know, the ultimate goal is to completely step into the shoes of your model, right? And then, and then at to some point, you'll start to, it'll start to blend in between the model and uh, your, your own new speaking way or style, right? So it, it, it's like, I'll always be speaking exactly like my model, right? It's more you use your model as a bridge to get to um, this new, more effective way of communicating. So although there may still be times, and even during the course of this podcast, there might be times where I get stuck, but all I do for that is I just chalk it up to, you know, it's my old style of speaking. I've been doing it for 30 years. I don't pay attention to it. In fact, for me now, that's a trigger that I need to do something differently, right? It means that I'm not, that, that there's some relics of this old way of speaking that are still there, and I need to do some things to access this new way of speaking. So, you know, it, it so uh, the control is a huge part of the program, but, and then if you combine control and this modeling idea, the, um, the, the ultimate aim is to eliminate the stuttering, right? Because the stuttering shouldn't even be in the vocabulary of this new way of speaking, right? And as I said, if you, you know, if you get stuck on a word, that's fine. The worst thing that you can do in the system is to go back and to think about it, perseverate, right? To ruminate on it. And then that yeah, just yeah. It even more. So, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, those, the, the, you know, the, the, those, uh, those are great pearls of wisdom to, to, to end on. Jeff, it really is. <laughs> now, now, Jeff, I, I have lots more questions, but uh, not to, to keep you, but you know, we you know, we will be inviting you back for another part two to carry on the uh, conversation at the Pro uh, 90D. Now, I was looking at the website for any of our listeners who are interested in exploring it. Go to www.pro90d.com. So, so Jeff, do, do you have any last words of, of for you know for people who stutter? Any any last words? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I would say that uh, it's tough. I understand. I was, I stuttered uh, for 35 years uh, from time to time. I still get stuck. Um, and uh, I, I, I certainly understand the challenges. And there's decisions that uh, those who stutter have to make that's in their best interest. And, uh, you know, there's, 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 uh, multiple approaches and, uh, no one way is better than any other. So if it's, uh, the pro 90 D great, if it's, uh, full acceptance and, uh, joining in, uh, that community and all the benefits that it confers, that's great too. Uh, so, you know, I think that we all want what's, uh, what's best for you and uh the support will only be there so mm. definitely well well jeff uh, thank you very much for your time today and for uh, for sharing your story and uh, but we you know, we you know we you know, we will have you back for part two definitely that sounds fantastic Greg, I appreciate all the time. Thank you. <laughs>